How do you build your confidence? In a word, experience. Now, there's two types of experiences. First of all, there's the trial and error experience, which I'm not recommending. And then there is what I'll call the strategic experience. And the strategic experience is one where basically when you're looking to build your confidence, you really want to just take the service model and you want to say, why is this important? What's the purpose of this? What plan might I put in place? What people might I sort of pick their brains and try to understand what it is that I'm trying to gain confidence in? And then next you look at it and you say, what processes or what methodologies or what things might I learn? What skills, aptitudes or training might be necessary for me? Then what performance is done and how is this going to be measured? And, and in terms of the ultimate result, in terms of who does it make a difference for? You see, these are the ways that you can begin to look at it strategically. Now, once you have sort of that strategic plan in place, which doesn't take a lot of time to put together, you're then going to have plenty of trial and error experiences to go along with it because you will make mistakes. That's the beauty of gaining and building confidence is the mistakes are wonderful lessons because you're able to put them into perspective of I'm learning, I'm gaining confidence, I'm building confidence. That's what it's about. Now, look, lack of confidence is a really good sign because it shows that your brain is still working. Now, what I want you to do is get your brain working and give me some comments, give me your ideas, give me what you're doing to help you build confidence. And in sharing that, you're going to share with all the other people who are reading uh, on this blog and watching it. So this is Kevin McCarthy with today's On Purpose Minute, inspiring you to be on purpose.